Fred knows no season and no class, they used to say. It's the staff of life for rich and poor alike, eaten winter and summer. Try tasty bread, and you can understand the reason for the universal appeal of well-baked bread. This famous loaf has a delicate wheat flavor that's irresistible. It's packed full of nourishment. Insist on tasty bread, and you get the best loaf of bread in town. The Tasty Bread Winners, directed by Ben Selvin, Harry DeCosta at the piano, and here they are, Billy Jones and Ernie Hare, the Tasty Loafers. How do you do, everybody, how do you do? Oh, we know the Jones and head of all of you. We're to loafers now, it's set, representing Tasty Bread. How do you do, 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 do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do, 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 do? I'm Billy Joe. I'm Ernie Hare. And we're a silly-looking pair. How do you do, 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 Bill, I see you have your cousin along with you as a guest tonight. Yeah, yeah, I thought I'd bring him along for a little recreation. He's working pretty hard nowadays. Yeah, well, what's he doing, Bill? Oh, he's a butler. Your cousin, a butler? Sure. Well, I suppose he's with a swell family. Well, he's with no family. Well, didn't you say he was a butler? Sure, he works for a soft drink butler company. <laughs> butlerin company. Soft drinks. Say, boy, you are certainly stupid. Ah, you ought to see my uncle. He's more stupid than I am. You know, stupid over. Yeah, I understand, yeah. A little later, when you sing a song, I'll join my cousin. Well, what's the matter? Is he coming apart? <laughs> Excuse the merriment, Ernie. Yeah, all right, I will. Hot dogs and sarsaparilla beneath the beach umbrella with one who makes the day so sunny. We write love letters to her in the sand. Won't it be grand? He'll be wicky wacky wooing at the seashore. Oh boy, there's nothing sweller. Hot dogs and sarsaparilla. With lots of kisses sweet as honey. They know it's time for playing when they both hear us saying Hot, Hot dogs, dogs and sarsaparilla with you. We don't like canoeing or boat rides or such. Summer picnics never meant love. We know what we're doing when summer comes round. We go to the shore, cause we're just crazy for hot dogs and sarsaparilla, and then some citronella, because mosquitoes go for honey. We'll do our swimming right under the sun. Won't it be fun to be waking back and wooing at the seashore? We'll do some carousellin' and laugh at sunburn swelling. We'll walk the boardwalk every Sunday. It's not so bored or taffy that makes our hearts go happy. Hot dogs and sarsaparilla in you. I see you have your thumb all tied up. What's the matter, Ernie? Oh, I heard it, Bill. Reckless driving, that's all. Ah, serves you right. You shouldn't drive that car so recklessly, anyhow. Why, Bill, it wasn't my car. I was driving a nail. Ah, nevertheless, I still think you drive recklessly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. another thing I can't understand, what keeps that car of yours together? Why, what are you talking about, Bill? That car of mine is sound in every way. Oh, sound all right. I've heard it and I've ridden in it. Yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you get a new car? Oh, I can't, Bill. The Wolf's at my door, and, and, and you ought to see him, Bill. He's gotten fat from eating bill collectors. <laughs> Life is only really what you make it. I've made mine a paradise of love. Happiness is there for you to take it. My life is a heaven from above At the end of a day When work is through I go back to a nest Where dreams come through I know that well I'll find peace in that heaven of love Filled by the hands Of an angel above At the end of the lane She waits for me Two white arms I adore Bring sympathy Good night, Daddy, dear. 
At the end of the day, when my work is through, I go back to my little nest where sweet dreams come true. And the sweet voice I hear say good night, Daddy. Say, uh, Bill, how how is your new girl? Oh, she's okay, I guess, Ernie. Well, isn't she kind of young for you, Bill? Well, I will admit she is younger than I am. In fact, she's just getting her second teeth. Is that so? That is, her dentist is fitting them tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> her yeah. teeth are the pride of her life. Is Ernie. that so? Yeah, she got slapped once for talking out of turn, and she swallows her false pride. <laughs> <laughs> excuse the merriment. Yeah, Ernie. excuse mine, too. Uh, no kidding, Bill. How old is she? Well, she said she just passed 20. I, I wonder which way she was going. Well, now, wait a minute. I know which way you two loafers are going. You're going right over and sit down because, as our guest, we have a return appearance of a favorite, a theater and radio favorite, the singer of songs of all nations, Gypsy Nina. Listen, you two loafers, uh, listen just a moment. Many requests have been made for a bit of grand opera. Do you feel opera-ish this evening? Not me, Lou, not me. I've been standing too long. I'm a little flat. I've I got a bad cough, too. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I'm kind of worse than Bill, too, Lou. My tonsils are all inflamed. There's a frog in my throat, and uh, I have a headache, and I'm wearing borrowed eyeglasses, and my ears are all stopped up. And in other words, I'm far from fit, so the opera's out, Lou. Splendid. I knew you two fellows would be just happy to do a bit of opera. <laughs> Lou's put us on the spot, hasn't you're, he? You're right, Ernie. Uh, say, Lou, we, we'll show we're regular fellas and, and try to sing the well-known trio from the unknown opera, The Sculptor's Bride. Yeah, we, we sing it in pure, I, I should say, poor Italian. So translate the text, will you, Lou? Here it is in English. Start, Lou, and set the stage, will you? Okay, the curtain rises on a furnished room. That tenor of tenors, Signor Jones Agachi, is our hero, the sculptor. And that sterling baritone, Signor Herr Tonico, is the false friend. Gypsy Tetranina is the wife. And the decomposer, Harry de Costalupo, in person, sits at the Steinway and strikes a chord. And the battle, uh, I mean the opera, is on. <laughs> 
Our hero, the sculptor, says, My wife no longer loves me because everything I chisel is a bust. His false friend sympathizes but says, My dear friend, you should know the average woman hates chiselers. At this point, a door slams and the wife enters. Our hero suspects his wife and friend, but hides his true feelings and also a big stiletto. Our hero proves he's no chiseler. He opens a bottle of red ink, but while doing so, sees his friend kiss his wife through the mirror. He comes out of his corner. Round one. The wife faints, and our hero is about to stab his rival near the fireplace when the doorbell rings. While you're using wifey, she's ordered these three loaves of tasty bread. They just come from the oven. Grazie, 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 grazie. Tasty bread again proves that good bread brings happiness. The friends forgive and forget, and the curtain descends as they are eating delicious tasty bread with garlic. The garlic ensures a strong finish. Listen for it. Angels in the sky promised that by and by there's 